So today I wanted to go over three recent 60% keyboards I purchased over Amazon. These keyboards are more on the budget end of the custom keyboard world and being a uh, introductory purchaser into the custom keyboards myself, I want to start off with something uh, on the cheaper end and see how I go in terms of just testing out all the different switches and keycaps and then eventually building a more in-depth featured keyboard. So um, I started with these keyboards just because they're again more on the budget oriented side. So uh, these keyboards are relatively cheap ranging from about uh, 40 up to about 80 Australian dollars. Um, I've got one of the uh, keyboards here which is the Yunzi SK61. Uh, it's using uh, Gateron Red switches. Uh, it's cabled. It is cabled. It is no wireless uh, component to it at all. Um, I've got the uh, putting keycaps on it as well, just to give it some a uh, bit of a flash, I guess. And uh, this keyboard is pretty nice. I don't mind it at all. Um, bit of a sound test here. That sound. I, I did no modification to this at all. So. Um, yeah, as you can tell, no modding at all. But this keyboard is relatively nice, it is cheap, and um, yeah, it's fine, all right? It is fine for what it is. The other keyboard that I do have is the, uh, I keep forgetting this one, CQ63. So this one's a Bluetooth uh, and wireless option keyboard. Uh, also, you can have it wired as well via USB Type-C. It's got blue switches in it. Uh, I've got the brand name, it's not Gator, it's some um, Optimum something. Uh, this keyboard is pretty good as well, actually. It's not too bad, it's pretty compact. Um, so if you, are, if you are on the go and you need a keyboard to carry on with you, it's not too bad. Here's a sound test. It's not too bad at all, I must say. No modifications again to this keyboard at all. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's got step hinges. And uh, yeah, look, it's not too bad at all. I'll pop that one over there. And the last keyboard that I do have is the more of the premium budgeting keyboards that I've got here. So this one I quite like a lot. Um, it's the Aiko 3068B. Uh, recently, the only modification I've really done is I popped in the lavender purples. Uh, and I've changed the keycaps a little bit. And I did the tape mod on the bottom of the PCB. Um, still a little bit. I guess pretty good. It's okay. It's fine. And here's the sound test. Now as you can see, it's uh, quite nice. I quite like uh, the lavender purples. I come from Cherry MX Blues myself, but I quite like it. This keyboard is good. USB Type-C for charging. It's got Bluetooth and wireless and the uh, hinges on the back as well. I like this keyboard a lot.